I believe in God and then He is always with us and He will send us the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, sisters and brothers. My name is Anna Bizmatina. I am from Russia and uh, I converted to Islam uh, officially on 17 March of this year's year. Uh, Alhamdulillah. Uh, what about me? I grew up in the society with the atheist past of Soviet Union. But at the same time, I was Christian, thanks to my family. And uh, I was so religious by nature because I didn't get any deep knowledge or uh, religious education uh, for myself. Uh, but day by day, I discovered this love to Allah uh, without any uh, good understanding what does it mean uh, to love Allah. And uh, uh, I was more and more religious, especially at the time when I uh, faced a lot of challenges in my life. Uh, sometimes, if uh, I will be honest, uh, sometimes I lost hope that God is with me, that He can hear me and uh, He can help me. Uh, uh, half of my life I thought, oh my God, I'm in the hell. So I, I was going to lose this hope that uh, God is with me. Uh, and uh, when everything was okay, uh, I decided for myself to change the country and I went to uh, Sharm el Sheikh. And uh, there I discovered another world where I uh, was surprised nicely that here in Egypt uh, people believe in God and I can speak with everyone about uh, God and uh, everyone can share this love to Allah with me. And uh, God sent me my husband uh, with who I married right now. So uh, thanks to him and another religious people, uh, I, I became more confident with my decision to change religion, to be, uh, to be Muslim, alhamdulillah, and uh, now I am Muslim and with Allah. <laughs> In my opinion, Islam has a lot of rights for uh, women because uh, Allah <laughs> put it us women in the high position. Uh, of course, He knows uh, better us why, <laughs> so there is some reason for it. But in my opinion, uh, there is some reason for it because women uh, are not only mother of mankind, not only because of this, but at the same time, we are more weak naturally. Uh, by nature, but usually uh, we usually take uh, more hard lives than men, and we should hide this our strength from them to help them to feel that they are uh, really strong enough. So uh, I know many examples when European women changed uh, religion, converted to Islam, uh, even with their uh, strong system of laws. So that's, uh, that's why Islam really uh, pre presents uh, mankind a lot of rights for women. And uh, what about me? I felt uh, my female nature more confident. Uh, I discovered a new state of uh, relationship with myself. I realized that I am Muslim, culturally educated woman, and I will not let anyone to look at me like a meat for eating. So I uh, developed this internal position inside me, and uh, I, I, I satisfied from it. And uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm happy that I'm Muslim woman right now. Prophet Muhammad, peace uh, be upon him, uh, he uh, showed us, mankind, the best treatment uh, to women. So uh, I, I hope, inshallah, all Muslims will follow him uh, by this uh, attitude, behavior. So uh, inshallah, my husband will improve his uh, attitude too and <laughs> he will treat me much better. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, Islam really can help you to manage uh, all problems which you have in your uh, family life so uh, with peaceful w peaceful way with kind way so alhamdulillah that we have Quran we have advices from God and example of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him I want to say uh, uh, for all Muslims, not only for women, but for men 
too uh, that uh, don't lose the uh, hope that Allah is with you, that He can hear you, He will help you and uh, He will send you the best. Just be grateful for everything, just be patient and uh, pray for Allah. And Next door to Belgium, we met Pauline, a Dutch pediatrician who spoke to us what made her embrace Islam. When I was uh, 21 years old, I was in the middle of my medical studies. Um, I, I, it, I came to my intention that when I watched the news and it what talked about Islam or Muslims, that all of the news or predominantly all of the news is negative, especially when it comes to women, it's always very negative. Something about uh, women not being able to, school, to go to school in Afghanistan, about women getting acid thrown in their faces in, in Pakistan, a lot of bad things. And also in the climate that what was going on at that time in Western Europe where I lived, um, it was very anti-Islamic to my feeling. And I, I, I just followed the media and just believed everything they said and I had a very negative idea about Islam. My work gave me an opportunity to work in London for two years. So I went abroad, so I settled my family, got my driving license and I want to experience what is life. I want to to really look for life. So at the beginning, uh, me and a few um, girlfriend uh, tried to enjoy the European life. We went, we start to go dancing, clubbing, drinking, and stuff like that. Just the normal European life. But slowly, I realized that actually it's not good for the woman. I see some very good and innocent uh, friends. They um, start to have multiple relationships. Sometimes I uh, want to take a cab with a girlfriend uh, at night, but she just disappeared after seeing a guy in the pub. Then I realized they are not happy at the end. They are being abused and they are just destroying themselves and they don't have any happiness at the end. They always pay attention to the outfit. And this is very humiliating for women generally in the world, not uh, only for Muslim women. It is, and it's very, very nasty when I see this coming from women. I, I see women who discriminate other women because of their outfits, what they wear, not who they are, who they, what they believe in, if they're righteous, if they're educated, if they can offer to the world, if they can offer to the society, if they can benefit the world, but what they wear. And this is a crime.